Uh, hello, Kerry. The, situa the situation this season is a bit different. Uh, it's probably a reality you haven't faced since Yarrow was here over 10 years ago. Uh, seeing Dom going back with you tonight, can you describe what it ignites in you to be in that situation where you're challenged for your playing time and to see the coach turn to you anyway? I'm grateful. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh... It's an opportunity that I'm, uh, I'm thankful for, and I'm happy that it turned out the way it did. Thanks. <clears throat> Alexandre Gascon. And Kerry, how big was that kill, that four-minute kill at the beginning of the game? And in general, can you give us an appreciation of the, the PK's work tonight, uh, what allowed them to be so, uh, so effective? Yeah, they were the penalty killers were huge for us. Everybody uh, you know, was working in unison and uh, executed everything well. Um, I thought uh, we just did a great job of, uh, of eliminating plays and closing seams. I thought everything that we wanted to do, we accomplished. Chantal McKay. Merci, Paul. Hello, Carrie. Uh, you worked a lot with uh, Stefan Waite this week. What was your main focus uh, while working with him? Uh, stopping pucks. <laughs> um, just keeping things simple and letting the game come to me. Thank you. Eric Engels. Hey, Kerry. Um, can you kind of, I don't know if you can take us through from your last performance to now and kind of where your mindset went day to day, but what were kind of the, what, what was the turning point for you to, to get into a, like that kind of positive mindset to come out with the performance you had tonight? Um, like I said earlier, just thankful to, to get back in the net and and get that opportunity to uh, to get another crack at it. Um, you know, the, whole, the whole time has just been focusing on the process and keeping things simple. And the guys played very well in front of me tonight to help me out. Jean-François Chaumont. Hi, Kerry. Is there any way you can describe the mood after the game and how happy are you for Dominique Deschamps who's winning his first game in the NHL? And we're happy, obviously, not satisfied. Um, definitely very happy for, uh, for Coach and, and Burr. Um, you know, they're, uh, they've both been working, working really hard and, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure that they're, uh, they're pretty, uh, pretty happy tonight and proud to be uh, in the NHL. Arpen Basu. Uh, hey, Kerry. I um, don't want to diminish anything to that third period. I don't know how many pucks even came your way, let alone reached your net. How do you feel watching your team sort of lock it down in the third? Um, what do you feel they did strongly in that period? Yeah, the guys played very well in front of me. That's the style of play that we want to have. Um, we didn't try and rope a dope it. We were aggressive and, and played well in, in all three zones. Take two more questions. Julian McKenzie. Hey, Kerry. Uh, just wanted to ask you a question about uh, Jeff Petrie. Six years ago, he was traded uh, from Edmonton to Montreal, and, and you were one of the few Canadians players still left on the team that was on the roster when he was acquired. Uh, just in your own words, can you describe what Jeff Petrie has meant to the Montreal Canadiens organization from when he was acquired to now? He's been a very big part of our team, obviously. Very good skater, moves the puck well, big shot. He's uh, he's been a big time player for us since he's been here. Last question, dernière question, Simon Olivier Lorange. Hey Gary, you said you were happy but uh, not satisfied. Is that a comment about tonight's game or about the the sequence prior to this game? Sorry, I didn't. I missed that last part. Uh, you said you were happy but not satisfied. Is that a remark about the game itself or about the sequence of losses before? It's about moving forward. Merci, merci, Gary.